Hi, I'm Steve Huff. I own Huff Motorsports, and uh, I'm the designer and creator of this crazy electric vehicle. This is a 240-inch wheelbase NHRA electric dragster, product of our division called eSpec Race Cars. Uh, we decided that we wanted to build an electric car. So we took an e-spec race car chassis and made some modifications and we decided to put it on some electric motors. Uh, we started out with a one single dual stack motor and two controllers. Promptly went out and set the world record 7.95 seconds, uh, 180 miles per hour for an AC unlimited voltage car. Uh, I'll give you a quick tour around the vehicle. Rear tires, of course. Uh, we're working on the axle right now, but the rear tires go right on up in here. Uh, now it starts to look a little more like a car instead of an electronic component. Uh, right directly in front of the tires, we are on this side of the vehicle and the other side. Now we have four Reinhardt 250 controllers. This is a contactor box. This is where all of our major high voltage goes in. 800 volts, 2,000 amps. And all of that is supplied from this massive battery, 1.6 million watts of uh, lithium polymer power. Uh, this battery is referred to as 5P192S. So five batteries in parallel, and then 192 of those racks in series. At the end of the day, we end up at 800 volts. This is the largest battery of its type ever built. But currently, we've been running just on two controllers and one dual stack motor. We set the record at 180, but the whole point of this quest for 200 is to be the first electric car in history to go 200 miles per hour in a quarter mile, and that wasn't gonna cut it. So we put in two more controllers and one more dual stack motor. Then the problem came up, how are we gonna manage all of this power and how are we gonna manage all of these uh, processors? So I reached out to you guys here at AEM, and uh, what we're coming up with right now is going to be the new CD7. So that's gonna be a can display, seven inch display. We've got one of them right over here. This dashboard, as cool as this dashboard is, what this is really letting us do is communicate and listen to and see everything that's going on with a couple of wires. We just took off thousands of feet of wiring off of this car to replace it with CAN controlled units, which all come down to this. Uh, we can run all of this CAN data through four wires. We run into a VCU, which we're preparing to mount on the car. We have a new VCU here from AEM. Nowhere to be found. <laughs> we don't know exactly where the VCU is right now. So this new VCU that we have, we're gonna be mounting it in this area, this all gets covered. This VCU is just like the computer in your car. It takes a lot of inputs and it sends out a lot of outputs, all in one package. And now AEM has this uh, great controller that allows us to bring in four CAN ports into it with very few wires. Uh, it's super fast. It's the, it's the solution, it's the part, it's the component that we need for all of these major components to talk to one another and for us to be able to program, listen to, record data, uh, review that data, everything. Everything that we're used to in, a, in a data acquisition systems, it's all here. Plus, recording the data inside of four massive computer processors. This is the missing link, this new uh, VCU, the dashboard and then uh, these PDUs, these PDU-8s. If we want one up here at the front of the car, we only have to run a couple of wires. So, I mean, we, I, we literally took off 12 pounds of wiring off of this car when we only had two controllers. We would have doubled that for four controllers. Now we're running it with a couple of cables about this size. And power distribution unit allows us to mount one up at the front of the car to control any number of functions that we have going on here. We tell this box what to do with just two wires. Before we had this, we were having to put peripherals on everything. And then the industry changed, and of course AEM was right there with it, with their internal combustion engines to include everything in one box. Now we can do that with an electric vehicle. Uh, this is gonna allow the, the end user to be able to pick up these components and purchase these from various manufacturers, or you know, at a certain point, you're gonna be able to buy them at a wreck Tesla and use a controller like this to build your own hot rod. And that's, that's what we needed. Well, this is the fourth version of this car that we started in 2016 and first raced in 2017. Until now, we haven't been able to expand much without having major complications. Nothing's been in one box or one unit, nothing really attainable to the general public. This is it. Uh, this is not the future, this is right now. You can see this stuff, touch this stuff, buy this stuff. Uh, and use the stuff. We're, it's here. This isn't a, a novelty item anymore. And to see companies like AEM get on board uh, really means that the industry is ready. And uh, 
uh, over the last four years have been waiting. You can follow us in this quest for 200 at stevehuffmotorsports.com or Steve Huff Motorsports on Facebook. Of course, we're on Instagram and Twitter and all of those things. Start out at our website. You'll see all of our social media links. We'll be right back.